Twenty-five years ago, the eyes of the world were focused on London as George VI rode to Westminster Abbey to be crowned King of England. All of the colorful panoply that befits such an occasion brought to theater screens a spectacle that is rarely seen more than once or twice in a lifetime. George succeeded his brother, who abdicated the throne in favor of the woman he loved and became the Duke of Windsor. George was destined to rule 15 years and one month until his death in 1952. When he was crowned in the Abbey, World War II and those parlous times were but three years distant, and the king was to lead his people through times of crises to ultimate victory. All of that, however, lay in the veiled mists of the future, and the new monarch was cheered to the echo as he rode through the streets to Buckingham Palace. Tens of thousands milled before the palace for hours to cheer their new ruler and his queen. The first formal portrait of George VI and his family showed a young future queen, Elizabeth, and Queen Mother Mary. Though his reign was not a long one, he proved himself a wise and beloved king. 